Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm Jim Weber with your tropical update. Well, we continue to watch Tropical Storm Epsilon. Looking at the satellite imagery, you can really kind of tell a couple of things with this, that there is some west and southwesterly wind shear over this system. That is helping to blow some of these storm tops off to the north and the northeast. And also, you see this dry slot, this slot where you're just not seeing any convection. Little signs that we're pulling in some dry air towards the center of this storm. So that will tend to slow down some of the increase in the intensity of this storm. But we do have the tropical storm watch out now for Bermuda. This system will continue to slowly intensify. It's starting to make that turn more towards the northwest now moving to the north northwest at eight miles an hour top wind speed is at 50 miles an hour still expected to become a hurricane but passing well to the east of bermuda then it eventually turns to the northeast and then out over cooler waters and that's also where that system heads over open waters so we'll continue to watch this very closely as we go through the next several days. But it looks like as we head into the weekend, it will start to make its way out into open waters. Other area that we're watching is just down across the Western Caribbean. We've just had that general idea that we've got lower pressure down across the Western Caribbean. That has helped to give us that strong easterly flow over the state and helping to surge some of that moisture up over the state over the past couple of days. So uh, no signs of anything developing at this point, but it's one of those favored areas that we could see development this time of the year. That's why you just kind of always have to have an eye down across the Caribbean. So we'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.